Hello guys, it's me again, your Serenity Ruby, and uh, some, of you, some of you guys are asking um, for a tier list, or which is better, or what's the best team, or what's the best hero. So, actually, there is no uh, one hero that can beat uh, all campaigns. should be a combination of uh, damage, support, and uh, crowd controls. So before we move to campaign, let's start with uh, bosses. So which hero are good for boss? Okay, so the main physical damage and uh, the most uh, strongest physical damage uh, based on uh, our strongest uh, members on the guild, Nuffy, uh, the one who can dish out the most damage is this one, Artemis. So if you have Artemis and you have a lot of copy of her good uh, this is great for that uh, the rock ball and uh, what are the equipment for a clean ship so the best equipment for artemis you will see uh, her All foes must fall. one enemy a clean ship I picked up the guide up I picked all foes must fall. In my opinion, what I can equip here is uh, this one. The fire room. A clean ship. The lightning room. So what lightning room does is actually uh, Ethereal Sword defense. So as you can see, the G GM. Is uh, always auto attacking after the ultimate, right? So Ethereal swords. Uh, once he dished out the ultimate, he will just do auto attacking. So for GM, this one is good. This is the best. For if GM. both that are of is. one heart, the so, profit is twofold. The lightning. But for uh, Artemis, what you can equip her is this one. A clean ship. The lightning. So it depends on. What you want, and if you want to dish out, uh, because Artemis also relies on ultimates, so what you can use is the chakra or axe. So I if picked you want, up uh, more, more on ultimate damage, then you need to go with chakra. physical damager is this one, Susano. So Susano relies on normal attack Watch your ultimate, back! same as Art Artemis. So for the equipment, it will be the same. Uh, fire rune, or uh, don't mind this air rune. Capricious it's, as the sea! I don't have any other to put, so I just put the air rune for the meantime. So, fire room or lightning room and uh, chakra for ultimate base or the axe. Axe of power. So basically, for unstoppable the like a tidal wave. So what else? Who dish out uh, more physical damage? Uh, 
by the way, guys, um, you also need this Dionysius, okay? In, in, in have a taste. Fight. My wine but never disappoints. Sure you have at least 100, so Dionysius uh, will be uh, helpful in dishing out more damage because of the defense decrease. So if you can make it up to 200, then that's good. You'll be, you will be dishing out more damage and losses. So we have this three uh, for four. Um, Susano, uh, Artemis, and then Dionysius. So you need two more. The other one is Idun. Always Idun as your support because of it is a pretty tree, isn't it? Uh, so what's the equipment for Idun? Basically, the water room. The spirit bond is uh, my best friend. Use. And since she is uh, a, little, a little bit tanky, he can equip her with Excalibur so that uh, you can give out 7% more uh, attack and defense to your ally. But if you don't have Excalibur, you can just uh, give her the Yasakani Matakama. Uh, the tree of victory uh, bears fruit. It's actually, uh, it has a chance to help the cooldown of the healing skills. So, so we have support, and the last one, if you want more damage, then I suggest you go with either uh, <coughs> this one, Oberon for the bolt or um, oh yeah. uh, this one Medusa so same she has, since she's a don't you love uh, having me around and fire grown and axe okay so those are the, the best um, heroes for the vault so how about this mad uh feet? So a fleet is, um, you need magic, magical damage. So, heroes that do magical damage, as you can see, uh, it will be easier if you just uh, click this. So, for example, uh, physical. So, these are the units that do physical damage. Uh, magic, these are the units that do, that do magic. And these are your supports, and these are the tanks. So for a pre, you can just pick from this uh, list. Basically, what I uh, what I'm using for a pre is uh, Izanami GM. Uh, this one, Tamamo, and Idun. And so we need Idun and uh, Junis. So for a free, this three and Idu and Dionysius. For the bulk, um, you can use um, Susano, Artemis, and Ogre. Idu and uh, Dionysius. So what's the last one? The last one, you need AOE damage, the aggressive one. So what you need is uh, more on AOE heroes. So the, on the, we don't have a AOE on the list here. So all you need to do is just pick heroes that do or does uh, dish out AOE. The number one AOE damager here is uh, first of all, only if you have only if you have her uh, well, at least I have the attack. prettiest shield to 400 yeah she is the best AOE damage uh, next is uh, Izanami uh, next is this one AOE Zeus and uh, this one Cleopatra so this Cleopatra is also AOE damage. So you can pick 
from those four AOE dish damage. So you all you need to, all you need is three because you need the dune and uh, you, you don't need sorry you don't need Judicious on that AOE boss. Um, so you can just select uh, it's an army. Cleopatra. What else? Oh, you can also use this Lucifer, oh, but her uh, his AOE damage is not that good. It's more of a stun damage. So, uh, Persephone, Izanami, Cleopatra, and then Zeus. So those are the heroes good for this uh, Trials of Ascension. So how about uh, how about the guild boss? So basically on the guild boss, uh, what you will be using is your main damager or your main hero in the campaign. But make sure you put Idun and Genesius. the best uh, supports that you can use for this blade fate or guild boss so what are the other bosses the so this so jacobur cavern uh, you can use your main uh, main heroes for campaign so uh, i suggest guys if you don't have any 300 or 300 weapon yet, don't push too far. Don't push to 8 or to 9. I suggest to stay at 6 or 7 because, as you can see here on 8, you will only get uh, 4 of the purple to the yellow and 1. Um, it's worse for the 9. You can only get 3 and 3 yellow and 1. So it's really worse if you are still working with the uh, lower weapon. Uh, st stay with level 6. So, so six, 6 or 7 is good. Don't push too far. That's what I'm saying. Uh, error. So, uh, this one. so I don't, I can't revert it back anymore. So I hope GM uh, or the can, uh, or the developer can uh, put something here so that we can attack lower levels because it's really hard to farm uh, these materials if you're already too high. So, what else? Um, for free to play. You don't have to actually think of uh, best teams or best unit to use. Uh, whatever comes out of your free summons, then those are the units that you will use. Um, but if you can focus on heroes on this list and on this list here. Um, then it's better because you can uh, buy uh, at least uh, from arena at least you can buy um, once every I think it's so yeah once every month here and then from here in Fantheon you can buy um, one hero every week 
So um, here here is the best heroes that you can uh, focus: GM, Oberon, and Athena. So you have two damager, one de one um, tank, and from here you can focus on Susano, uh, Izanami, and Genesis. These are the three heroes that is very important on this list. Um, you can also uh, get these two if you want, but I suggest you get this um, other SSR first because uh, it's really hard to get copies of this end game UR units if you're not a whale or you're not topping up. So guys, if you unlock this one, uh, all of it's better to use or to buy your or to use your uh, prestige bag badge buying this and not bothering with this this at the top. Don't bother buying this. Uh, this is a better better value. Okay. Uh, and. So yeah, basically that's it. So that's the lineups that I can suggest. It's only based on our, my opinion and my guild's opinion. Um, if you have suggestions or comments about uh, other lineups or campaign and bosses, you can just uh, comment below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. See you on my next video. Please watch my uh, free-to-play uh, gameplay as well. And